Well, what is up? Uh, today we're doing our predictions for the fourth NLWC event in the four most important matches, which are Roman Bravo Young versus Aljamain Sterling, Nikoli versus Tariq Wilson, uh, Ty Walls versus Kyle Snyder, and then the headliner Zayn Rutherford versus Budring Punya. Let's get right into it. So first off, we got Kyle Snyder versus Ty Walls. Uh, Snyder got injured back in October against Kawan Gadsden. Um, I think he was, I think it was a semis or something like that. Uh, maybe it was like the third place match, but couldn't compete back in October at Senior Nationals. But uh, he is a great wrestler. I think he competed in the third NLWC event, and I think he got a tech if I'm not mistaken. But he is a great wrestler, and he's going up against Ty Walls guy who is in my opinion not even near the level of Kyle Snyder and it's just going to be a blowout probably going to be a tech in maybe the first period uh but yeah Ty Walls only four and two on the freestyle circuit so yeah definitely going to go with Kyle Snyder on this one probably by tech as well so we got Nick Lee versus Tariq Wilson uh Nick Lee a guy has been an all-american maybe for like the past two or three years and we just learned that he's taking an Olympic red shirt uh, this season actually to focus on freestyle uh, so this should be a good indication to see like how he is going to wrestle in freestyle uh, in the future and if he has a chance to make that Olympic team uh, while Tariq Wilson a rising senior uh, had a great third place finish during his redshirt freshman year in Cleveland uh, but then has gotten injured like crazy and then never reached the podium again uh, never wrestled before but Nick Lee is 11 and 1 in common opponents while Wilson is nine and three, so probably we'll go with Nick Lee, uh, maybe like six four score, seven four, or something like that. And probably the most interesting bout: uh, Aljamain Sterling versus uh, Roman Bravo Young. Uh, RBY ended up getting a match with a UFC guy after he like tweeted out, um, "I need to, I want to wrestle a UFC guy" or something like that. Aljamain is like, "Bet, let's make it happen." And Aljamain is actually coming down to 150, but RBY is only at 140, so it's gonna be like a big 10 pound difference in weight so it should be kind of interesting uh Aljamain's not a bad wrestler either two-time division three all-american uh from Cortland, and he's been in the ufc since 2014 so big vet there um and it's going to be like six minutes of freestyle and then three minutes of submissions bjj no ankle locks or something like that but yeah it should be kind of interesting uh we'll probably have to go with Roman bravo young in the freestyle aspect but in like the submission stuff who knows? Probably Aljamain Sterling. And then finally, the headliner, Zayn Rutherford versus Budring Punia. Uh, Zayn Rutherford, a guy who's 6-2 in 2020, uh, while Budring is actually 10-1 and one and just came off of a 3-0 performance at the Full Wrestling Challenge, 8-man challenge, whatever you want to call it. Ended up beating James Green, Anthony Ashnall, uh, Pat Lugo, and bringing home $25,000. Uh, last time they wrestled, January this year at the Mateo Pelicone. I ended up with Budgering winning 5-4, to four, and from that momentum, from that 8-man uh, challenge, I think he's going to win here again. Most likely, maybe like 4-4, four, 3-3, four, three, three, something probably by criteria, or 1 or 2 points. Yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more wrestling content like this.